हेलो एवरी वन आई एम ऋषिकेश कुलकर्णी वेलकम टू माई न्यू यूट्यूब चैनल फ्रॉम दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विथ अ न्यू सब्जेक्ट विच इज नोन एज डिजाइन ऑफ मशीन इलेवेंट्स सो लेट स्टार्ट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई स्टार्ट विथ वॉट एग्जैक्टली मीन बाई डिजाइन डिजाइन इज नथिंग बट द सॉर्ट ऑफ प्लानिंग विच वी डू इन अवर डे टू डे लाइफ ओके प्लानिंग इज नथिंग बट द सिक्वेंशियल अरेंजमेंट ऑफ activities we set by following which we'll get the desired output okay now how you do the planning your planning is based on certain factors suppose in school days in summer holidays for enjoying your summer holidays you're going for trip okay so before trip you're doing the planning about the trip that means where to go what places to visit then climatic condition of that particular place that means an environmental condition of that place the budget of trip etc etc depending upon those factors you are deciding or you are planning for the trip and you go for the trip what would have happened if you have not planned your trip whether your trip will be a successful one no not at all so before doing anything you have to do the planning okay prior planning is very important while creating a new part or creating any new machine for creating any new machine the planning which is done to create a new machine or new part is known as design of machine or design of that particular component which is required so here also you have to consider certain factors in your planning to create any machine the factors such as the forces which are coming on to the component or machine the material that is to be applied etc etc for example if you are asked to design a flange coupling then what you will consider first for designing that flange coupling or for designing any coupling first of all the need of that particular component that is the need will be to transmit the power as well as motion from one component to other component okay that from one shaft to another shaft then the kind of forces which are acting on the coupling that is it may be subjected to torque vibration etc okay next then you have to think about the stresses to which these components are subjected then depending upon you will decide the material that is required to create that particular component then processes etc so all these factors required to design any particular part or any particular machine okay so this is about the machine design now in the forthcoming tutorial i am going to cover seven chapters amongst those first is the introduction to machine design in which i'll discuss about certain basic concepts which are required to create any component or to design any component second in second chapter i'll discuss about the design of joints such as quarter joint knuckle joint turn buckle some levers and offset links okay in the third chapter i'll design i'll explain how the shaft how the design of shaft keys and coupling is carried out okay and in fourth chapter i'll explain the design of power screw in fifth chapter you'll learn about how the design of spring is done in the sec in the sixth chapter i'll explain you how the bolted and welded joints are designed in the seventh and last chapter i'll explain some concepts which are required to design the bearings so this is about my forthcoming tutorials thank you for watching my video if you like my video then please press like button to get latest updates of next tutorial videos please subscribe my channel thank you